Magnus Carlsen has won three World Rapid Championships and is on the verge of winning his fourth. Standing in his way is a young Grandmaster Murderer who has defeated top 10 juggernauts such as Levon Aronian and Fabiano Caruana. There's no way a player rated significantly lower than the World Champion can destroy him on the board, is there? The 17-year-old prodigy, Naderbek Abdusadarov, had already proven himself to be a Grandmaster Slayer. His upcoming match against Magnus was set to be a clash of titans, with Naderbeck playing to win at any cost. The game began with Naderbeck playing c4, prompting Magnus to think carefully replying with knight f6. Before long, the game had evolved into an English opening, with white's pawns on c4 and e4 and black's knights on c6 and f6. After executing several developing moves, Magnus made a strategic move by positioning his queen on f6, which offered a queen trade to Naderbeck's queen on f3. Although this move risked an early endgame, Magnus had a reputation for being unbeatable in endgame positions, making it calculated. How would he lose this game? Naderbeck didn't take the bait and declined the queen trade, moving his queen back to d1. Recognizing a chance to strike, Magnus made the bold move of advancing his pawn to g5, with the ultimate goal of playing his other pawn to h5 and attacking White's king, a well-protected piece up to this point. With Naderbeck's past pawn posing a significant threat, Magnus realized that his chances of winning the position were slim, and he needed to focus on preventing the pawn from promoting. He played knight g5, forking white's queen and king and forcing a bishop and knight trade, which would make it easier for him to stop Naderbeck's pawn. With the game reaching a crucial point, Magnus checked Naderbeck's king, only for things to take a dramatic turn. Naderbeck played h7, threatening to promote his pawn to a queen. Magnus played queen e5, hoping to block the pawn's promotion. However, the move proved to be a mistake, and Naderbeck had the chance to capitalize on the error with the move queen to d1. The game took a dramatic turn when Magnus made a critical error, moving his pawn up one square. This allowed Naderbeck to play a devastating move, queen to d2, which forced Magnus to make a move that wouldn't result in a check. However, Magnus didn't realize that the move still resulted in a check, albeit not on the square covered by his queen. The situation looked bleak, and Magnus had no option but to resign, as Naderbeck had forced a queen trade that would allow his pawn to promote to a new queen. And just like that, Naderbeck Abjusadarov beat the world champion Magnus Carlsen.